Welcome back, you guys. This is Redneck. I'm making another Farming Simulator 17 video. I'm probably going to have a lot of parts to these. this map here. This is Tazewell County, uh, Illinois map. And it's a very spacious map, as you can tell. Very wide open. A lot of land. You got a lot of corn. Um, so yeah, I had a few issues I ran into with YouTube trying to upload a couple of my videos I'd done previously recorded. <clears throat> and uh, they demonetized it and blocked it because of copyrighted music that was playing in the background. So just a fair warning, you guys need to, my fellow YouTubers especially, just watch out what you do with playing music in the background. Make sure it's a non-copyrighted music. So, anyways, you'll just have to listen to me yammer on throughout the whole game. And just enjoy what I'm doing. Right now it's mid-autumn and in the middle of harvesting corn. And I got one field and soybeans yet I gotta take off, but we'll get to that real quick. see where I left off here. Got yeah, tons and tons of mods on this thing. <laughs> Alright. Start the old combine up. <laughs> John Deere S Series 690i combine. One of the better mods that the modding community is so politely to add. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of corn. Soybeans are right next to me. And then they really need to be coming off because, as you can tell, the textures are awesome on them. So, yeah, we'll get right to it. Again, here in Harvest, I'm gonna just, this is pretty much my second video I've been making on YouTube. Uh, not counting the ones that I had to delete. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to make them 20 minutes long. That way they're not too long for y'all. It is 11.24 p.m. currently where I am located in the eastern half of the United States. And let's see what we got here. Hopefully we can get most of this field here done. But it's only me, so... I done planted all this field, fertilized it, <clears throat> and it done real good because it's got a lot of yield. Fills this big old co combine here up no time. Yeah, it sure does suck. I can't play no music for you all or anything like that, but. How about this? How about you guys link in the comments below of a link describing what music I can play in the, my videos. That way it don't bore you guys, you know, just watching me do this. Go ahead and I need you guys' feedback on that because it is my first time really making YouTube videos. so. Appreciate it. any any good responses and stuff that can make my video content a little bit better. But, uh, 
right now I want to give a big shout out to uh, American Eagle Modding. Them guys definitely make some damn good mods. Excuse me, friends. Uh, I got a big shout out to Rainbow One Four Five. He makes some good, good editing for a lot of good mods. Big, big shout out for him. If you guys want to visit his page, just go on his, his rainbow145.com, whatever it is, and, or Google it, and uh, go over to his page. He's got a lot of mods on his page yet, and American Eagle Modding has got their own page, too. You can Google them and uh, register through their site and get as much mods as you want. I highly recommend them, guys. Mine's half full already. The finger just went off. <clears throat> let me know if uh, the mic volume's got to be turned up or game volume's got to be turned down. So let me know. What's your guys' opinion on a lot of this? videos that I'm making because you know every response I will read every comment I will read just to make sure I can provide good content for y'all farming singer. I know there's a lot of people out in the YouTube com in your community right now making uh, farming simulator videos for 17 but I thought I'd join that crowd a little bit you know this channel of mine's not gonna consist just of you you know gaming and stuff but it's gonna consist of a lot of other stuff too automotive diesel trucks vacations I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna upload a lot but uh yeah I'm mainly gonna upload probably every weekend just to start out that way you know I'm not gonna do it like once a month. I mean, that's pointless pretty much. But, but yeah, I enjoy Farming Simulator a lot. They've definitely progressed from 09 Farming Simulator all the way up. I mean, I used to play Sim Tractor. You know, that was the very first simulator I've ever played that was consisted of farming. It's free, you know. but until I found Farming Simulator, I bought the 09 edition and started playing that and played every one of them up. You know, so. It's pretty awesome. Here pretty soon I'm going to start making my own mods. I've just got to just gotta learn a lot of it. But it's something that's pretty confusing, but yet, you know. I'll get it. <laughs> I don't know if you guys played this map yet or not, but man, I'll tell you what, it's a lot like Illinois and Iowa. Got a ton of land. My timeline's just about full. She's full. Back up on here and unloading the Gravity wagons. Let me know in the comments below if it, you guys would rather prefer me do a little bit more first person view or third person view. Because I like doing third person view, but it does get annoying every once in a while. Watching the same boring thing <laughs> through the whole video. 
but. back continue threshing on I think after I do this field here I'll probably end up going back to changing the header out to main farm and doing them soybeans before the winter comes on because yeah we got a couple more days yet before it decides to get real crappy on us this harvest with this combine and probably end up upgrading to a uh, different style combine. Can't really say bigger because this is a pretty big combine here. But it's always bigger and better. Out of corn though. But I think let's, let's check real quick. Pretty darn sh whoops. I'm pretty darn sure that I got an ethanol plant. Oh maybe not. Not in this map. All they got is the the co-op. And you do got different pits in there you can dump in, but it's for different variable crops here. Um, I mean, as you can see, this map is huge. I mean, there's the dividing line of half the map, and they got the map boundary right here. And, uh, yeah, I haven't touched these fields down in here yet. You know, I've only crest maybe a good portion of this here, as you can see. You know, <laughs> and a lot of it's in corn. But, uh, yeah, I'll be doing more. Probably more of, uh, all that down here. So, I mean, I want to stay on this map, you know, make a good, good amount of episodes, you know. Or parts, as you want to say. So, yep. Got a few other maps I want to try out as well. I did finally find my favorite map that I've been playing through all the farming simulators since 2013 on up 15 and 17. They got it for 17 now finally. It is the uh, Central California Valley map. And my god, they don't really look the same as it was in 15. But, uh, it's not as big, you know, you got, it kind of limited down a little bit more, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's out. I'm sure if you Google it, you know, you'll definitely find that mod map, and, uh, download that into your, your mods, and that map as well is pretty big, so, still, you know, even though they cut it, cut it in half pretty much. But, uh, yeah, I love seasons in this in this game. It's a good thing they came out with it because you know that's what we've been wanting for a long time. You know, ever since 13 came out, or even 09, we wanted we wanted all the seasons. You know, even the winter especially. So now that they got this, this out, it's, it's really realistic. From the tree textures changing to, you know, the time you can plant, you know, and the stages of growth, it's, it's pretty nice. 
I enjoy it. There's always improvements to be made, as you all know. about 15 minutes in right now and my recording might end up doing this the rest of the way off camera so that way uh, I can get this done that way we're not sitting here farting around with this field you know and we could be out doing bigger and better things I don't want to bore you guys too much in just one field trying to get down. Just about full, about three quarters away, the buzzer will bing off. That's a nice thing about this mod I put in here too for the combines. You know, they got sensors that as you fill up your hopper, it'll give you an alarm. You know, from half full to three quarters full to full, and it's it's really nice when you're doing you know your first person view if you don't have the monitor working in the combine like I got. Uh, it's really nice because then you can really tell if you're not looking on your screen or you don't have the HUD up. It's right there. You know, things let you know. Hey, I need to unload it. <laughs> so. It's a really, really good improvement that they've made in these previous, since these previous games, the farming simulator. I mean, they, they really hit the nail with all this, you know, graphics and stuff and, you know, in-game play and, you know, some of these mods that they come out with are really nice. So let's go and load this combine. We can get heading back out there and do a little bit more corn before I let you guys go. But, uh, yeah. Might do some American Truck Simulator uh, videos too. Uh, I got, I don't know, I got, I got a little bit more stuff I can do too, you know, like Euro Truck Simulator too. I'm gonna consist more on farming somewhere because I love farming somewhere. I got Farmer's Dynasty too, but I'd rather just stick to farming simulator to be honest with you. No offense to them guys, you know, Farmer's Dynasty or anything, but just about hit the truck. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, probably split this in half at least. Probably be a little bit better to try to harvest it. Or at least the quarter sections maybe. As you can see right here in the middle snout, if you can see my mouse cursor, just follow that along in the line of this this row right here. It's just like real time, you know, operating combine. You just follow that and pretty much a straight shot, you know, every time. So that's what I'm trying to do. That's what most farmers do, you know, they just pick a line and just shoot for it. So it's nice to have an interactive uh, uh, console, you know, that they added to the mods and stuff, you know, and pretty much tilt your steering wheel back and forth, you know, extend the steering wheel up towards you, and, and they got buttons that are interactive as well, and you can open and shut your doors, even the pilot's, or the passenger seat here, you can flip down and up, it's pretty nice, I enjoy it. In the interactive controller here, you see my joystick moving. 
that's that's a good aspect. That means a lot for realism there, you know. And if they could uh, incorporate some more moving parts in the combine mods and stuff, you know, like you can actually see the inside underneath the chopper there. If you can see some of them uh, shuffle tables going back and forth in there, then that'd be alright to see that too, you know. That'd be and belts moving, pulleys moving. Some of them do have it nowadays in for mods. They really incorporate a lot of detail in some of them. So enough of me yammering on about that. But. We'll get up here toward the end of the field right here and probably end my video here and I'll be making a part two of the Tazewell County Illinois map. Alright we'll step on out of combine and Alright, well, I'll end her here, you guys. Uh, go ahead and make a part two here tonight as well. And this will be uploaded for you, uh, well, probably in the morning when you get up, you can watch it. I appreciate you guys. I recommend you guys to like my video if you like it. Subscribe if you have not already. Hit the bell notification, that way you'll know when I upload new videos and content for you. Uh, yeah. Please, please, I encourage you guys to subscribe to my channel and hit the likes button if you like my videos. I appreciate every bit of everybody's comments. Make sure they're good. You know, I really don't like a hateful group out there. I know that a lot of YouTubers run into that. So, yeah, let's just keep the comments, you know, in good graces. I thank you guys for watching once again. Redneck signing out. We'll see you all later in the next video. Catch you guys later.